Welcome to Salento with Lava. I'm David Mengele and what an amazing evening here in Salento. 33, 34 degrees. Am I sweating? Yes, I am. But this is a special night for this town here in Salento, in Galatina. I often talk about this town, but also because it's one of the largest and most beautiful towns in the peninsula here in Salento. Lecce, Galatina, Nardò, and another 90 plus beautiful towns scattered around the peninsula. Why is a special night? Well, you may have heard about the Tarante or the music, the Tarantella. Well, nothing to do with that. But the Pitica, which also has similar origins, has something to do with this town. In the background, the most extraordinary church, La Basilica of St. Peter and Paul. Now, Paul is the protector of anyone who had been beaten by an insect and for that reason this city is quite special probably a lot of you don't know that there are some extraordinary stories about the pitica the music and how some young girls that had been bitten by spiders were reacting to this bite by performing some crazy things and only by the intervention of the music and the players on the 28th and 29th, the days of St. Peter and Paul, only with the interaction of these musicians, the spell was taken away. So this church is very, very important. Inside, they're celebrating the Mass. to those voices and I, I, I stepped out before the mass actually started I think it's it's going to be quite respectful but what an amazing church and did you know that this church was actually built on top of a, a temple a Greek temple that gives you an idea of how ancient the architecture here in Salento is but talking about the Tarante if you have a little bit of time I may put it down in the description of the YouTube video go and have a look at some filming done back in the 60s where the tradition was on the 29th or the the, the the morning between the 28th and the 29th parents who had girls that had been affected by this thing called tarantate and that they will perform these crazy things they will bring them here from all over the region they will bring them here and they will bring them to a little chapel that is just right there and we're going to go in and have a look at it now it's a small place is only open in very very special occasions and well for the festival of san pietro and paolo for the festival of san peter and paul it's definitely a special occasion i will put the link below so check the video it's quite extraordinary what used to happen these people used to perform some crazy things they used to jump up in the air they used to do some amazing stuff possessed and then just by bringing them into this chapel just by drinking some of the water from the well that was blessed by St Paul they would just calm down so what an extraordinary place to be very full of energies I'm gonna step in I'm not gonna say anything I'm just gonna step amazing and if you have checked the video below in the description some of the images are incredible thousands of people used to gather in the square not drinking cocktails and beers and wine like they do today and listening to the music this was a very powerful moment for the people of Salento bringing their girls here they were possessed and they they were performing these crazy things was an extraordinary moment now this is the building that was right next to the chapel. Now, it didn't end there. They needed to bring them around here. Now, this is the house of an amazing restaurant here in Galatina. But back on the 28th and 29th of June of centuries ago, they used to bring them in here to the blessed well 
And there we are. And they used to be given the water. And only after drinking this water, the girl would just calm down and he would go back to normal until the following year. Now we have a well here with a light turned on inside, a luminaria. Now all of this is quite amazing and if you look at these buildings, look at the architecture. This is magic. This is, this, this is not the sort of thing that you find everywhere and when you look at the standard of people out there having fun and enjoying life today, it really tells you what Salento is about. So I think we should just go out there and see what people are getting up to here this year at San Pietro and Paolo in Galatina. Now this was the idea of a festival as I was growing up. Your parents would bring you here and you would buy your sweets and your other things and plus you know that you had uh, the rides. It was just fantastic and especially the sweets. I mean the sweets were very good. Well today not much of that beauty it's been lost. We definitely are in the 21st century. People look different, they dress differently but you know what I I think it's almost like times has actually stopped and nothing has changed. Even the uniform of the police is still the same, oh, but that's a joke. But it, is that amazing that you could just, well, you could just bring your children here and normally, normally, here you will have the big luminaria. Uh, this year the borough of, or the local authorities here, they've decided to skip on the luminaria, but they still have kept all the different merchants here and in the background the beautiful sculpture here of Gaetano Martinez one of the best well-known artists here of Galatina and the fountain around was actually created by Giuseppe Micoli also a great artist working with Pietra Lecese with the Lecese stone here in Galatina this works as a beautiful frame to this beautiful evening at 32 33 degrees here in Salento but you know what I'm gonna go to that bancarella over there to that guy over there because the connection with the Tarantate remember the girls that used to be brought over here that they were possessed and then they used to drink the water yes they also reacted to the sound of the tamburello yes the tambourine they reacted to the sound and the spider got so tired this was the reason and the idea of the music they kept playing and playing and playing until the spider inside got so tired that it would actually die and to do that to perform this they were actually using the tamburelli look we got somebody that speaks english so we're going to ask him <laughs> we're going to ask him about this what was so special about the leather that it was used? Yeah, well, this one is goatskin. Uh -huh. Goatskin. We uh, tan it by hand. Right. So it's all hand tanned. Today, tonight, we will show how we uh, mount the skin on the frames here, and this is all like artisanal uh, work we do, and it's a traditional work from South Italy in general, and we make, of course, traditional Salentinian frame drums, which we call tamburreddi, which we, you can see here. And my do father. Ah, uh, yeah. Do you play? Would you can like? you show us? Yes. I can. Wow. What's the idea of playing the tambourine in the old days? I'm what, sorry. Why, why would they play the tambourine? Uh, it's a traditional way of making music here of course we have a um, peasant culture it's not like a so we, we don't have any a big industrial culture here and it reflects actually the um, uh, farmer way of making music which is a poor music of course and indeed the materials with which the um, instruments are made are uh, all materials you can find here on the territory, except from the beech wood, which is uh, usually used for those instruments to, for the floor. To okay, sewers. Yeah, yeah. sewers, thank you. And 
Um, actually, all the materials, the tin plate, the skin, the, um, the wood, come from uh, traditional instruments to make, uh, to make uh, peasant activities. Wow. And what can you tell us about the tarantate, why it was used? Well, it is... Because I talk in my video about the tarantate yeah, and the tambourine. Kind of a complex topic because we use the same instrument to make different kind of music okay. and different kind of acts actually. We can say performance today but they were not performance, they were like um, cultural activities. And the same kind of music which we call pizzica pizzica is used to make uh, a dance between a man and a woman but at the same time it was used here in Galatina to make a specific uh, music therapy which was used to heal, they said, the female, especially women from the bit of the tarantula, which is the spider, which is, was supposed to uh, uh, inject some venom inside. And uh, the point is that actually, of course, it was a way to... Um, women were living a condition of oppression, both because they were uh, peasants, so uh, pro pros, and at the same time they were um, women which we, which are discriminated in our society and they were more discriminated in the society that we had 70, uh, 70 years ago. So it was a way for some women who probably had difficult life to, um, how can I say that, to expire to, uh, they had some kind of suffering which they had to uh, pass by and they used this way, this kind of music, which was kind of different because they had violin as well, which you usually don't see when they dance between a man and a woman. And it was used this way here in the 28th of the June, which is the day of today, uh, just here around the corner where there was the church in which they made these rituals. Wow, thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, that was an amazing explanation, probably more than what I was hoping for. Thank you very much. Are you Biagio? No, I'm the son. You're the son of yes, Biagio. We work together. He started making rooms more than 30 years ago, and now I am approaching to take his job, his work, his art, and to carry it on. Amazing. You know, for anyone who follows my YouTube channel, this is totally improvised. I just walked across. Isn't it true? Improvised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. I don't totally. know him. What's your name? Lorenzo. Lorenzo. Now, it's amazing actually it's to not. find somebody that speaks English so good and save me for typing up uh, a lot of subtitles so thanks Lorenzo but what an extraordinary tradition here and can people buy these instruments online on your website yes yes, yes they can and they can get it shipped anywhere in the yeah, world worldwide so I will put in the description down if you just scroll down into the YouTube video I will put the description of Biagio Panico remember Lorenzo and so you can write to them and who knows you may order one of this directly from Salento all the way to anywhere in the world. Thank you very Fantastic. much. Fantastic. Grazie. Wow, wasn't that amazing? I, I love when things are so unexpected, they just happen. And I think actually to go back, because I'm meeting some fantastic people that have arrived today, they're probably going to watch this video and say, oh wow, how, when did you do this? Well, I got here about 15 minutes early and I carried my GoPro with me and I haven't done a video for a very long time, as you may know, because I left the office about half an hour ago. That's all I do, office, building site, everything. And I just thought, no, I need to capture this. And actually, let me just ask, let me see who's phoning me now. Oh, I gotta take this. This is the Dante Alighieri big square in the center here with, with, a, with a small park, which is quite nice to have a town. I really believe that this is the big opening that this city has, which is very rare to find in smaller towns. And then beautiful shops, amazing people, extraordinary architecture. Wow, and here we have also a Japanese restaurant. I haven't been here yet, but it's actually on my list of places. And look, we've gone all the way around the block and we're back into the main square. Well, I think for a video that wasn't planned and very improvised, really depicting this incredible festival here in Salento, here in Galatina of San Pietro and Paolo, connected to an extraordinary legend, maybe a truth, whatever it was, but connected to this extraordinary heritage that hundreds of years later, it's still here. It has changed in color. It has changed in the way people probably bring it into their own lives, but it's still here. And that is what makes Italy such a special place. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have liked what you have seen, put a like. 
subscribe to the channel share the video with the rest of the world it's nice to share this extraordinary environment and a beautiful sky and most important thing stay safe wherever you are well I did say goodbye but the party is definitely on now here and we have the music of the tambourine in the background can you hear it and people dancing to the pizzica here in the main square only a couple of minutes ago the projection of the luminaria of the main facade of the church let's turn the camera around and see how beautiful this place is seen the guy talking about the tambourine I thought I finished this video a long time ago but I've had too much fun so you probably heard this before put the 28th 29th and 30th of June 2022 in your diary this is the place to be in Salento next year for San Pietro and Paolo stay well wherever you are